This wasn't a long walk. <laughs> but when you look back where we started, you can see how the market square is surrounded by a lot of big houses. Some of them are from the 14th century. The huge building right opposite, it's our town hall. An impressive building, isn't it? <laughs> and have you seen St. Jacob's Church by chains? It's more a cathedral than a church. All this talk means this was a rich city and all the buildings that are mentioned still show the wealth Rotenburg once had. And there were three reasons why this was a rich place. Our main economy was textile business. These people here got thousands of sheep outside of the city walls. So they got tons of wool. Every third of our craftsmen after bakers and butchers was working in this kind of business. We were famous for our textile products. Reason number two was a lot of good land. 400 square kilometers of fertile land. 180 villages on there. This all belonged to Rotenburg City. A wide territory with all kinds of food. And then the third reason, which were two important trade routes. One was coming from Prague to Paris, east-west, and the other one from Scandinavia, down to Rome, Italy, north-south. Nowadays, that's the Autobahn A6 yeah. and A7, <laughs> intersection about 20 miles west from here. But back in the old days, when they got the trade routes and not the autobahn, this intersection was just 300 yards outside of our main gate. And sure, that was perfect, because a lot of merchants, pilgrims, travelers, being that close, dropped in here, spending time and money in our city. Like now, <laughs> you do. It started early, having all these foreigners in town. And for all these reasons, this was a rich place. There were 6,000 inhabitants in the 15th century. At this time, Rodenburg was one of the 20 biggest cities in the Holy Roman Empire of German nation. And we had a time of glory from 14th to 17th century. But then, all of a sudden, it all stopped. And this city fell asleep for 250 years. Time stood still, nothing happened anymore. There was just poverty. Things were very extreme. In our history, it really went up and down. But I'll tell you later about the down. It's too early <laughs> for this sad story. 